get this all nice and looking good for all the Parkitect people so they're not really sad when they see people working for a living. Good morning everyone, Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Parkitect still here in Adventure Island. And as we've been doing in this particular part of Parkitect in Adventure Island, I've just been letting the game run between episodes just to accumulate money. So between last episode and this one, I kind of just set it off, let it run for, I don't know, about an hour, hour and a half or so, just to accumulate money so we can actually get something done around here, rather than you guys just looking at the park and watching me WASD around, waiting for those numbers to tick up. And indeed, we've done that. We've got about 10 grand in our pocket right now, so not a small amount of money. I was also letting the research team tick along for a while. Now, I set their budget pretty low. Yeah, just 50 bucks. That's all they're getting. They're basically getting a snack to come in and do some research on coasters but I've got to figure in an hour or a half or so they must have done something so let me take you off coasters I want to put you on uh, transport rides we don't really have a lot of those kicking around so why don't you get going on that please and oh uh, do I want to bump your budget up no probably not right now let's figure out what you did first of all what did you do while I was away you did coasters oh not a lot not a lot. Didn't really get a lot done at 50 bucks a month. I, I understand that. I get where you're coming from. In fact, I think you only got Wild Mouse and Stand Up Coaster done. Okay. Not not thrilled by those. Maybe we'll just do a junior coaster because the goal at the end of the last episode was to get another roller coaster in here. I think that would be a really welcome addition to the park. We've only got the insanely ridiculous one that came with the park that if I spent a day and a half, I could never design this. This is just far beyond my level of technical ability here. But we have some coasters, we have some money, and right before I started recording, I flattened out. I did some terraforming over here. Actually, I just want to snivel off that bit while I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, just that and that and that and that. There we go. I just wanted to flatten out this area so we'd have a good bit of space to put a roller coaster down. Now, thinking about this, I've also got a good bit of space over here where I could theoretically put another water ride. Water rides are the bane of my existence in Park Attack. I am just universally terrible at water rides. I know frequent commenter, viewer, and really good friend of the channel, Lionel DeLion, is freaking out over what I do with the paddle boats. But that's where they live and they're working. That's good enough for me. So, roller coaster. Maybe we'll just go with a junior roller coaster. Just the regular old, you know, tier one roller coaster here. It'll be something. It'll be something we can do here. So what do I, how do I want this to go? I kind of want it to sort of start here and go, I'm not going to have a lot of room. I'm going to have to really make this a tight little track. But if I start it here and then kind of maybe try and loop it around, hopefully, Let's see how this is going to go. This will probably be heavily edited because we're all very clearly aware of my lack of skill with roller coasters. That comes as no surprise to anyone. So let me just kind of, um, you know, fidget with this for a little bit and see what I can do with it. Okay, so far so good. I've got this put together. No, 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 not that, not that. I didn't want that. I wanted that bit. Thank you very much. No, not that bit, that bit. Okay, it's all gone horribly wrong. Clearly, it's all gone horribly wrong. There we go. Straight piece. That's what I wanted. Now, build that for me, and let's start that maybe not skyrocketing down, maybe just sort of skyrocketing down. Let's get that to go there. Wave Swinger is broken. Somebody will get over there eventually. How far... Can I put this out into the water? That would be my question. How far? Let's just for argument's sake, just go nuts here. Oh, quite far, actually. Okay, good, good. Um, well, we'll do that then. Maybe I can kind of wind it in and out here rather than going, I guess, horizontally as we're looking at the screen. Maybe I can do this a little more vertically. So build me a, a straight piece there. Yeah, keep that going. And let's start to loop that wrong way, loop that that way, but let's 
spin that a little bit. Other way, there we go. Let's give that a little bit of a an angle there, and then do that again. Good. Build that, and then take the angle off, please, and then give me a straight bit. Okay. Not... Not the most terrible thing I've done immediately. I've certainly messed up roller coasters far quicker than this. I'm just going to kind of look at the ghost roller coaster here and make sure that seems to be going along fairly well. Yeah, it goes up and then it goes down. I've pretty much mastered roller coasters at this point. Excellent. Um, well, build me another straight piece and then let's have this thing... Can we just do like a quick hop here? Can we just kind of go up and down real quick and then build me a, um, a flat piece? and have that go up a bit, and then start it going down again. How about that? How about just we did that? Now a flat piece. Will that work? Let me just check the ghost train here, make sure everything's going along swimmingly. It's not, you know, it's not stupendously exciting, but it is what it is, and then it goes up, and then it goes down. Okay, cool. All right. Well, excellent. I'm, I'm pretty confident about this. Can I put one of these loopy things in here? Uh, not that way I can't. I can do it like that. Do I want that? Kind of. I kind of do. Yeah, you know what? Build that for me. And then um, start going... Well, give me a, a straight piece and then start going up from there. Will this work? Let's find out. Give me a regular piece. Put that like that and then spin that around that way. It's a little weird looking, but it is working. It's working. The ghost train seems just fine with this thing. So what if you started, yeah, build that. And then what if you started going, give me a straight piece and going down from there. Okay, I'll go down a little bit and then give me another straight piece. Yep, yeah, like that. And then that way, yeah, that way, okay. It's a little weird looking. I mean, it looks like sort of some sort of spaghetti fell on the floor after a few days and sat there for a while, um, but it is, According to the ghost train, it is working. So, cool. Let's uh, let's keep this going a little bit. Well, I've taken the spaghetti concept and, well, extended it a little bit. It looks very, very unruly, but, you know, it is what it is. It's it's working and, and people are, well, I say people. The ghost train seems to be having a pretty good time of it. So now I just got to kind of see if I can make this link up. Uh, let's get that going down there and try to get that down to three if we can. There we go. Now, are you going to let me swing that around? Yeah, not not really so much there. No, that's going to be a little trickier to get this to connect. Okay, give me a straight there. How am I going to make this work? It slows down a little bit here, but then they get a little fun thing at the end where it shoots down again. Shortage of ride parts, I'm sure somebody will deal with that. I'm sure it will all be fine. So build me straight and another straight. Now, if I get this to loop around, no, that's not quite going to get where I need it to go. Hmm. What if I did that and then the little wibbly bit? Not that wibbly bit. There we go. Wibbly bit complete. Okay. Now, I should probably put some brakes on that. People, people like it when they slow down. Block brakes fully stop a train. Uh, I don't really have an extra train, so just... Flat out brakes will do the job. Can I not put that on the S bend? I can't. Okay. Brakes may be a bit of an issue here. A bit of an issue. Let me just back that up a little bit and see if we can um, make that happen a little bit better there. So uh, go, go, go. No, don't do that. That was silly. Don't press that button. Just give me that button. How about if we did this and this and then looped it around like that. Okay, now if I did a straight piece with brakes like that and built that and then take the brakes off but give me the wibbly bit, there we go. Okay, so that should slow down right there. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on the ghost train here, make sure everything seems to be going along swimmingly. Yeah, it does slow down a little bit here. It has a little bit of trouble getting to the top of this hill but then it comes all the way down and it goes around the little thing and then it slows down there. Okay, I think this works. So if we build this, yes, we've actually done a thing. Now, what the heck am I gonna do with my entrance and exit here? So people are probably gonna come down, hmm, let's see. I could take the paths down here and then also connect them up 
over there. So what if we did... I'd like to have a nice long queue for this, if at all possible. How about we did the entrance here and the exit here? Okay, you go away for a second, and, and you also go away for a second. Just give me my regular paths, please. So, the queue. How am I going to do this queue? This is... I don't know. Let's have it be orange. Why not? Um, what if we did this, this, this? I can't get it to go there. Actually, I can... Why don't I just make it into a hill? I mean, why not? Yeah, just do do that. And, oh, no, don't do that. But But do that. We'll just go up the hill, and then... They can just come from here. Okay, this makes total sense. All right, it will be a nice long queue. It's just going to be a nice long queue on a staircase, which will probably be horrible to wait on in the real world. Yeah, that's kind of a queue I can live with there. I don't, I don't really ever recall if I've done one on a set of stairs before, but it'll work. So let's get you on. Okay, it is on. It is technically working. That's fun. Um, let's see. What, 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 what do people... What do we got? High intensity, low nausea, medium excitement. Okay, I'm pretty happy with those stats. I'm pretty happy with that little breakdown there. So it's pretty intense, but it's medium excitement and very low nausea. Great, good. Well, let's just fidget with you for a second. Why don't we, um, why don't we actually not take your safety budget down? And let's actually make sure people are getting over here in a reasonable time frame. So we'll take that down to 20 minutes. Always wait until you're full. That goes without saying. Always wait until you're full. And what are we charging for you? I, I, whatever it is, I bet it's not enough. How about you were, say, five bucks? Because the insane roller coaster, we've got that up to like 10 bucks at this point. Um, that being said, how much? I'm pretty sure I've kept jacking this up, but how much are we charging for the insane roller coaster? 970, yeah, I was pretty close. How about that's 10 bucks, guys? A nice even $10. That way you don't need change. You can just hand over a tenner and walk away. Okay. Let's see what people think of this ride. We'll get kind of a broad exit poll when they're done with it. But in the meantime, we should start decorating this area because people like to have things to look at while they're over here. And this area needs decorating anyway. My plan, my second part of the plan for the episode of, of you know, this episode of Park Protect was to start fleshing everything out. Just kind of get everything decorated, put toilets up where we need to, all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't mind getting another employee area sort of over here-ish, especially as we've got the money to do it. I wouldn't mind... How, where could I get paths to? Could I put up one of my sort of shopping emporiums inside the roller coaster? Because that would be pretty good if I could do that. Okay, so you guys come down here... You go up and over this little hill, and then you come along here. This bit gets a little wibbly like spaghetti, and this bit is totally spaghetti, but you guys basically seem to be into it, right? I know it gets a little slow up here. Maybe it gets a little bit boring on that part of the ride, but then you kind of come down, and it's vaguely exciting. It's medium intensity. There you go. It's mediumly exciting. All right. Now what do I do with this information? Ah, what I should do immediately is remove this sign. That can actually just go at this point. Um, I've taken the path as well. Darn it, put the path back. Because otherwise there's gonna, this is just gonna mess with everyone on this path here. Do I want to, and the short answer is yes, because there's already people over here. I'm not even sure how you guys made it over here. But anyway, there's already people over here, so I should probably put the sign back that says don't go into this area. But I think at this point we could kind of restrict that just to here. I think we're really almost at a point where we could reopen this part of the park. We've had this pretty much closed since day one because there's no reason for people to be going over there. It's just making them tired and cranky. But with all this under our belt, and maybe if I terraformed this area right here, put up some shops, put up some decorations, and put up another ride here. We've got a bunch of rides that we haven't put down yet that we've been researching. Yeah, I think I may do a little bit more on this episode than I thought, especially as the money is there, and we're getting a big jump in that money. Actually, we're getting a big jump in everything. I was just, I'm only just now noticing our, our customer count here is very much ticked up. We've really only managed to keep that hovering around 3, 350. Now we're up to 428. And I think, if I recall correctly, there was a whole, 
Oh, that was the ride parts one. Um, but there was a whole negative news in the theme parks. You know, people aren't going to come to your theme park kind of thing. So we're doing that. We're doing 433 even with that hit. Cool. How's our um, how's our experience rating here? Because that's our other goal. Uh, we need it at 80% for happiness. We're only at 67. Okay. So do I want to put down another ride or do I want to flesh out what we've got to increase the happiness rating? That would be a good thing to know. What are what are people thinking? Uh, entrance fee is a good deal. Yeah, we did knock that down a little bit. Scenery is amazing. Two people aren't paying that much for the entrance fee, but 10 people love it. Hmm. I guess it's not going to kill me financially to knock the entrance fee down a little bit more. You know, maybe we make it 550. One that'll probably get more people in here, and two it might make people a little bit happier. And the entrance fee is not where I'm making my money. Yeah, we got to flesh out this area sort of right now. And if I can get some shops in here, so much the better. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and get some shops in here. I put a depot down and I just spent some time bringing the tunnel all the way over from here, which was no mean feat, but it's there. It exists. Um, so the tunnel all the way down here, all the way over here, down and up and all around and got the tunnel connected to the depot. So let's see. It's going to be a fidgety little space to work with. Let's see what I can do with this. So if we had, well, let's try right off the bat for some shops. Um, we've got pretty much everything kicking around the area. Now, we've been told that balloons are good after, you know, a roller coaster or some other sort of high intensity ride. The best thing I can do immediately is see where I can get a path. So is this path for just for argument's sake going to work its way through here? Yes, it will. Okay. And could I also get that to work around if I brought you path, say here, and, and I wanted to do, no, not that. Um, let me put that over there just because I don't know what else to do with it right now. So if I wanted to bring you, say, here and then, no, not that. How about down like that? Do I want that? No, I don't. Okay. Path is going to be mildly fidgety just because of all these hills. I should just terraform it. You know, why, why am I wasting time doing that? I should just knock the earth out of here because I am master of all I see in terms of terraforming. Not in terms of anything else in Parkitect, let me assure you. But in terms of terraforming, that, that I, I can smash some earth down. So get me back to paths and, uh, yeah, get me up here and we'll get a path going all the way around here. So if I brought this, you're not going to, I don't think you're going to let me do it through here, are you? No, didn't think so. Are you going to let me do it through here? No. Okay, how about down here? No. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, fidgety, kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, no, I do not want to close this ride and start editing it. That sounds like a terrible idea, Barkitect. Why would you ask me such a thing? Maybe I can just get it to loop around here. Maybe this path doesn't actually need to connect. All right, get back to plan A here. Plan A, shops. Looks like I could maybe, with the path, fit a couple in here. So let's definitely do balloons, because people like to have a balloon when they're done with their little high-intensity ride. Maybe, actually maybe, I just move this and flip it around and do a line here. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking to myself. Let me fidget with it a little bit so you're not bored to tears more than you usually are watching me play Park and Tech, but let me fidget with this a bit and get some shops and deco going in here. And as is very typical in Park and Tech, the solution for virtually everything is tunnels. I was trying to go up and over with the path and it's just way easier to go down and around. So now we've got a path going from here underground. They end up over at this new path over here and I'm actually able to line up four. In fact, I can squeeze a fifth shop into there. There's no reason not to. Let's put up uh, cotton candy, sure. And another employee path there. Ah, that's why I didn't do that. I knew there was a reason for that. I actually can't do that uh, because that path will not work there. So unfortunately, cotton candy, you have to go goodbye. 
that's fine. Now, I was thinking of doing a whole building around this, but that seems a little wasteful because we've got all this open space here. I think I'll just block off and zone off the path system and keep this area as green space. While I'm just looking at it, let me make sure to add all the shops. There we go. So add all of those, thank you. And somebody will get over there eventually, although this is a really good time to hire another hauler. Uh, janitors, haulers, yeah, we only have two. Dear Lord, we only have two. So yes, definitely, uh, you, you do your thing there. You, you get on that. I'll probably end up just zoning you down here. We'll make a new zone. So my thought is I want to, I want to build this up a little bit. So if I took this and put this down here and really just make a corridor area more than anything, not really a building per se, but just a corridor where they can, you know, do their thing. That and that and that, and we'll block all of this off and make it look really, really um, apparently nice to people. Apparently they just can't cope with seeing haulers. I, I, I don't care if I see people working, it's fine. But uh, in Parkitect, it's vitally, vitally important. So let's make sure this is getting taken care of. Haulers are already getting the job done here. Things are already getting stocked up. One there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then we'll put a door there. I'll put some doors up here. We'll get some roofs on this puppy decorate it up and this will all be excellent and good and fantastic. Except, except while I've got the space and I've got the money, this is also a perfect spot for a staff room. I was just saying earlier I should put another staff area down here. Well, here we go. I can do that right now. Uh, Killer Bee is broken. Somebody will get over there. It, it's all going to be fine. Don't, don't even sweat it. I've got plenty of mechanics. So yeah, get a um, get an employee area in there. That will help those guys out. Not as much green space as I originally wanted, but that's okay. That's okay, the staff will be happier. I don't really know that that makes the guests any happier and happiness is our goal. Uh, Team One has nothing left to research. Oh, okay. They just finished the, um, the monorail thing, right? That just kind of came up while I was working on this. I'm not, I don't know if I really want to do suspended monorail so much. I, that's just not, that's not really screaming out to me, dear God, please do extended monorail. How about you guys worked on, oh, so help me God, water rides. Oh, Lord. Um, it's all going to end horribly. But yeah, sure, get onto water rides. Why not? And then if we're kind of running out of things to do, oh, our profits just tick down rapidly. It's because I'm building everything. Yeah, we're making $5 a month. Five bucks. K okay, super. Um, let me finish building this area here and see what we can get done. Do I need, would it benefit me to have an employee path running along here and into here? I don't feel that it would. I don't feel that's any great benefit to me, so I'm not gonna do that. It'll be one less thing for the guests to get all fussy about. Uh, give me roofs back, please. Yes, give me the roofs that I was using. Thank you very much. And let me just fidget with this for a little bit. Get this all nice and looking good for all the Parkitect people so they're not really sad when they see people working for a living. Okay, that bit's all set. That should make people less fussy with this. And I, I feel people should should know that this is a very important tunnel. So this needs pillars. This, this needs pillars to remind people this is the super, super important tunnel that gets you to where you buy all the things all the time. And scaffolds, I, I don't know why I like the scaffolding so much. I just kind of do. It's just really fun and interesting, and I can make it do things like that. So, yeah, give me, um, maybe this building is under construction. How about that? It's not quite finished yet. There's a little bit more to do in this, but I like the scaffolds and I want to put some of them up and that's my only reason for doing it. So um, how about there's two there? There we go. What else could I throw up in there? Oh yeah, put, put some of them up. We need, this needs to be OSHA certified here. So get some safety boards up here, please. Put that there. This, this means nothing to the park. It just makes me happy to put up scaffolding. Now, some other decorative things we can do. There's no reason 
We can't be throwing Blobby Tree around. We all love Blobby Tree. Everyone's a big fan of Blobby Tree, especially when we do Blobby Tree in radically different colors that aren't natural, like blue. Don't see many blue trees these days, but now you do. How about a purple Blobby Tree? Put one of those up in there. Uh, and one of those there. Actually, let's do... How about a tree stump? Not enough tree stumps in my life. There's one right there. And rocks. Everybody loves rocks. That is universal. Okay, how are we doing here? Definitely need to flesh this out a little bit more. Definitely need to flesh this out. How are we doing on people? 434. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to come back to decorating and fleshing this area out. Oh, it's raining. What a surprise on Adventure Island. And I didn't even put up umbrellas down there. I should have put an umbrella stand there. Okay, well, we'll have a think about that. Wow, it's... Boy, when it rains on Adventure Island, I'm, I'm just looking at basically a black screen here. So, yeah. Killer Bee is broken again. Do we need to bump up the maintenance on this? I mean, I know there'll be somebody over there reasonably soon, but what did I, um... No, your budget is 100%, and there's somebody there every 15 minutes. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair amount of time for people to be over there. I could maybe squeeze something over here. I haven't really thought about this area over here. Maybe I could work with this and get some of these people to peel out of here over to something else, anything else at this point. How am I feeling about the new roller coaster area? Broadly okay. How do how do other people think about it? What's our decorative value? Eh, kind of meh. Kind of meh. I mean, they don't hate it. They don't hate it. They always hate the little entranceway there, but they don't completely hate this place. Okay, fair enough. When the rain stops, like it just did, that was nice. Think about something else to do. Actually... I could flatten this area out and easily get another ride in here. What have I got kicking around in my regular rides? Um, we have done... Yeah, we did Plane Carousel. Okay. We've done all the Calm rides at the moment. We do have several Thrill rides left that we haven't done. It's just that a majority of them are these Tower rides, which is kind of a pain in the neck because of all the rain. And I don't really want to build a building around one of these insanely tall towers if I can possibly help it. I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying that's going to be a colossal pain in the neck. And you guys really need some decoration around here. I don't know what orb lamp is, but I feel we need some here. So have some of those, those things there. Oh, Skyfall is broken. No, I think it did great at the box office, actually. I think it did very, very well. One of the um, higher grossing Bond movies. But thanks for letting me know, uh, Parkitect. And um, you need a clock so you know how long you've been waiting in line for this ride. I don't even know what a glow orb does, but I'm sure it's probably glowy. Oh, and you guys really need some benches. What's your problem? What's your deal? Are you just tired? Coffee? You like the coffee? Wipeout was awesome. No, you're broadly happy. You're broadly happy. Okay, well, we definitely do need some benches down here, though. We don't have any of those or any trash cans. Oh, I'll bet I could squeeze one of the trash chutes in that building as well. That'd be a real... Here, here you go. I know. You're super tired. Here's a bench right here. You've just passed two of them. You've passed two benches on your way in. Well, you don't get a bench, then, if you can't figure it out. Uh, bench there. Bench there. Trash cans we need. Definitely some of those. Um, yeah, give me, no, give me the open ones, because people will vomit in them. Uh, ugh. Sentences that I never thought I'd say in my life. And here we are. Put some of those down. Now, can I hide my, um, hide my scenery for a sec? Do I have somewhere I could put a trash chute in there? Right in there looks pretty good. I'll bet I could get one right in there, and that would save the janitors a lot of time. Am I going to be able to build... A wall around that track though I might have to get rid of that scaffolding that might have to go unfortunately yeah put put the scenery back I think trash chute is a little bit more important than my really nice scaffolding and I can put the scaffolding up somewhere else that's fine get rid of that get rid of ooh, that and that thank you trash chute uh, but doodly doodly do Trash chute, go here. Oh, already occupied. Why? Why are you already occupied? 
okay, I'll figure something out with this. Now, I ended up abandoning the trash chute idea. It was just too fidgety to do the tunnels with the pre-existing tunnel here and all sorts of other tunnels are going on down there. There's just a mess of tunnels under this building right now. And there is absolutely, as we're all very clearly aware, a point in Parkitect where I say, no, too fidgety to build, simply not going to do it. People are going to have to live with the trash as is. So the janitor is going to have to make a little bit of a longer trip to get to wherever the next trash chute is, or even indeed back to the main depot building. Holy moly, people are in line for this coaster okay well let's um let's make them a little bit happier by throwing down maybe some tvs in line so they can watch parkitect while they're waiting for you know parkitect um you uh, put one there there we go so a couple of those can i get these oh i can get them on the stairs okay well you guys can have one as well so you guys can watch tv the line is out the door on this thing is there anything i can do to hustle this up a little well first of all you can pay a little more for it how about six dollars for that and anything else I can do, you're already waiting till full. Now, I, I kind of like it as is. It, it'll be what it'll be. So, all right, not so much on the trash chute. I may reinvestigate it later, but probably not, truth be told. Probably not. I think the janitors are just going to have to learn to cope. Although, that being said, it probably wouldn't kill us to have another janitor, period. Now, I've got toilets up in here. But I do want to go back to investigating the idea of another ride over here. I'm just mentally planning out how the paths are going to go. Because that's really, with all the hills, that's one of the fidgetier parts of this. I'm just going to watch the roller coaster for a second because I made it. And it's dumb, but it's mine. So yay. And you go around there and the wibbly bit and the spaghetti bit. And you get all wibbly over there. You just get your... I'm surprised you don't come out of there without some sort of neck injury from that. But it all seems to be working and people are waiting in line for it. So good. So right over here. Yeah, why not? Let's just get this done. Um, that way, you know, we'll, we'll get something else in the park. So get me... Yeah, start flattening all this out and getting something going on over here. Okay, so I got this area flattened out over here and terraformed. Now what I want to do is start putting all of these paths linking together. And now that we're all the way over here, I, I kind of feel it's not going to kill us to go ahead and turn this thing back on. Um, I mean, we don't... Well, I, I jacked that up to $2. I don't think anyone's going to actually pay for it. I was watching Penja the Geek Cover do this, and I don't think people are really keen on paying for an elevator. Nor should they be. An elevator is not a ride. It's a way of getting from one floor to another. It's like stairs, but slightly faster. Uh, so go ahead and I guess we can actually just turn this back on. If people desperately want to get in an elevator, they can. And I think we also... Um, we, we have you not open. All right, there's no shopkeeper. That's fine. It'll, it'll all work itself out. Um, give me give me the hot drinks, please. Well, elevator is back on, so, you know, have fun with that, guys. And the, the shops are back open. Now, what could we throw down in here? Again, we've done all the calm rides. All of those are done. How about top spin, which is apparently totally different than top scan? Actually, we've never done power surge which sounds like an energy drink of some sort, but let's let's do some power surging over here. I want to kick this as far into the ocean as I can. Are you going to let me put this, say, here? Well, actually, how far, how far down can I get this? Maybe I start putting it down here. Will you let me do that? Wow, you will. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. All right. Well, it's in the water. Let's, let's get some, um, let's get some things going on for that like an entrance and an exit. All right, give me, uh, we'll get a queue going on. Okay, I'm just, I'm kind of all, I'm mentally rethinking my plan for this area because I can push that so far out into the water. So get me something going sort of like this, if you could, please. Thank you. Oh, go, no, no, go back to path. Sorry, I meant path. Path there, great. Um, go ahead and just turn it on, just so we can get some people coming in the door here, or gate as the case may be. I want to get an idea of what the animation is on this, so I see if I want to put a building around it, or if, like Wave Swinger, it's just going to be all over the place and it's going to be kind of a pain in the neck to put a building around it. All right, what do you do? 
top spin, top scan, skyfall, whatever the heck you are. What exactly do you do for a living? Yeah, you do... I have a feeling you're going to start whipping around and have a large animation that's going to be kind of fussy to deal with. But I do just kind of want to keep an eye on it. Uh, okay, a bus dropped off 38 Junior Coaster fans. Well, my Junior Coaster is what it is. I hope you like it. If you don't, not a heck of a lot I'm going to do about it. Uh, go ahead and wait till full. Yeah, that's going to be a wicked fussy animation. That's that's going to be very tough to put a building around. All right, we'll probably just leave that one as is. What I could do is at least build up some rain protection in the queue. We can definitely make that happen for people because it does rain pretty much all the time here, all the time. So, um, you know, if we can keep people out of the rain, why not? Let's do, I like the little wooden ones. Those are those are fun. Let's do that like that and that like that and then that and that and that and that and that and that and you can have one last one there cool okay so at least you have some rain protection while you're standing in line I actually don't hate the way that looks and it's raining speaking of rain it's raining now oh, and we've completed one of our goals we have 500 guests in the park I don't expect that to last a because it's raining and B because I definitely see Adventure Island being like archipelago adventure in that as you get to one goal the other goal isn't met and then as you meet that goal the other goal drops down I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of back and forth on the goal issue but just for argument's sake yes yeah, see we're down to 63 on our happiness rating and great, we've got 500 guests in the park, but what are people really moaning about? Entrance fee, again, uh, can't they carry these resource crates around somewhere else? Yeah, they can, but you're the guys who wanted the coffee shop way over here. Not a heck of a lot I can do with that information. They're, they're going to carry those things. Now, I'm noticing in the research department there's no more water rides to do either, so I guess go back to calm rides? Oh, nothing left to research there either. Anything in thrill rides? Okay, apparently there's thrill rides left to do. Speaking of thrill rides, let's get another ride going on here. I guess we'll do one of these tower things, because we kind of nailed everything else. We have not done topple tower yet. Let's topple some people. That sounds like an excellent idea. That sounds like a really, really safe thing to be doing for people. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on... I could run tunnels over here, run the paths over here and actually set up yet another shopping area kind of in this neck of the woods. Um, just get me out of this for a second, if you could. I just want to snivel off that little bit of that right there, because then I can get this to tuck in very nicely right in the corner here. What was it? Topple Tower can slam itself already occupied. Really? Really? Oh, it's probably the roller coaster something like that okay would you like to live here nope how about here nope um do you not like the hills because i've got the money what are you saying already occupied whose animation is killing me here is it the roller coaster really is i don't know well it'll sit nowhere that i want it to sit i would like it to sit right there it's not going to you can tuck in no 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 oh this is fun so literally it doesn't want to live anywhere why is that it must oh it must it's probably that sorry people are probably already screaming at me in the comments it's the animation of the ride you're trying to put down stupid um so yeah it's it be, again you know topple tower it's probably going in a huge circle how about top spin would you like that have we done top spin uh, short answer, no. Yeah, no, we haven't done top spin. Okay, how about top spin? Would you like to let me put that down? Um, that you're basically okay with, and we can get that to live uh, here, or do I want it more? Where do I want the shops? This is the, this is the problem. Where do I want the shops? Because that's going to answer where I put the ride. And I think I kind of want the shops over here-ish. So let's put the ride over here-ish. Great. Put your queue there and your exit there. Okay, now what do I do with all of this information? Okay, we got the new spinny ride up and running and I've 
built more tunnels for more shops because more shops means more money, which is not really my goal. I mean, the, the, strangely, money is not one of the objectives in this in this park tech scenario, but may as well be making it. May as well be making it, and it'll probably make people happier. And I've got some money kicking along, certainly enough to put up, oh, barely enough to put up depot. Actually, barely enough to put up depot, and I should really be mindful of the trash chute issue this time. So if I put trash chute down, let's say, how am I going to make this swing here? If I put that down, oh, so fidgety, because I need a path to come along here. Okay, I can do that. I can make a path come along here, back of this ride, and top spin or scan or whatever the spinny thing is actually has a fairly mellow animation. I could build something around that. I could build something around that and make that work. So, trash shoot. If we put... Sorry, I'm mostly talking to myself at this point. So let me fidget with some paths for a second. And then figure out how this is all going to come together here. Well, it's not the prettiest path system that I've ever created, but it works. I, I wanted to get people looping around this way and looping around this way so we can get some more shops in here. And that's absolutely not what I wanted to look at. So let's see, these are these are high intensity rides. So let's make sure, well, first of all, let's make sure we got some umbrellas. That's, um, it is pouring rain right now. So umbrella there and not park utilities or rides. How about shops? Let's make sure we've got some balloons kicking around here. People like the balloons and give them something to eat. And do I have room for something? Yes, yes I do. Short answer, yes. I can do, say, hot dogs and ooh, something to drink. I only got the one drinks thing, right? Yeah, just hot drinks, that's all I got. I should put the research team back on shops. You give me the, oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, okay, all right. It, obviously, it's time to let Parkitect run itself for a while. I'll keep, oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, had it, lost it, got it. There we go. Little bit of negative money there. I have built a ton of stuff in a very short period of time. So I went through that 10,000 very, very quickly. I know you don't have an employee path. I don't have any money. I'm not sure how to help you with that. You are exhausted, sir. You literally just passed a bench. You could have sat down and had a really nice time sitting and watching the construction that's going on over here, but you chose not to do it, didn't you? You chose not to do that. Did I make sure you're waiting till full? Probably. Uh, no, actually I didn't. Wait till full, please. Wait till full. Oh dear, well, our money situation seems to be a little more dire than I anticipated. Apparently we have imminent bankruptcy. I, I don't know that that's really true, game, but okay, that's fine. We'll take a really quick bank loan just to kind of keep the wolves from the door. Yeah, 5,000. I, I don't even need that much, to be honest, but there you go. Imminent bankruptcy over, and now I can actually just finish off this part of the building over here. So that's all set. I needed an employee path to go, well, here for a start, so they can get in and out, and then along there. All right, let me just box this in a little bit. I, I don't know about imminent bankruptcy game. I, I think given a few more months, that would have evened out. It's just that I built a ton of stuff really, really quickly. Well, that's going to be a little better for rain protection. And in the time that it took me to put all of this building together and have it vaguely match the one next to it, um, we're already back to profitability. And this has been popping up very, very frequently. So hot drinks, I've been getting a lot of out-of-stock things, which obviously will get another hauler on board. And why don't you... Let's actually make a new zone. Let's do... Uh, how about... This was a zone. Good. Okay, so that's zone three. And you are going to just work in zone three. Why don't you just hang out down here? Everyone else can kind of move around, but you guys can hang out down here and just do that. So there's one ride up, another ride up, more shops down, and those will get stopped up fairly frequently. And at least these match a little better than my other two monstrosities that I put up over there. Yeah, I'm just not happy with those. But these are coming together a little bit nicer. So I think next plan 
is, again, I'll kind of let the game tick along for a little bit, get some money coming in, and then go nuts on the decoratives and making sure we've got plenty of bathrooms up, making sure there's tons of stuff for people to look at. I'm pretty happy right now with where all the shopping areas are. I think this catches pretty much all the people as they're pathing along here. Not really much to do around here, but broadly it's okay. I mean, there's a little bit of shopping right down here. So we'll kind of just keep this nudging along. What I'd really like to do is flesh this area out so it matches this area a little bit more, which is very full, very busy, very colorful. Let's just see if we can keep that ticking along over here. And by the time we get back, we'll, made, we'll have made more than enough money to pay off that silly little loan that we had to get through. So we'll call it on Parkitect for here for Adventure Island. We'll pick up some more of it next time. and see if we can get through this. I mean, we're we're kind of getting in the ballpark. We've, we've hit some of our goals sometimes. This is definitely going to be an archipelago adventure thing where it's just going to be back and forth seesaw action, but we'll plug along regardless. So if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button and see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Wow. You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?